Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel DN Art. Let's start the tutorial. And here I have taken low viscosity resin and I'm pouring into the mold. And I have mixed around 80 ml of resin and I'm adding 60 ml of resin into the mold. Rest I will save for the white. This is just resin white pigment paste. And something I need to tell you here is you just need a very little teeny tiny amount of the paste and before that just mix it mix it and here you can see I haven't taken any because my stick already has the white on it so I will be using that just the biggest mistake that I was doing before having lots of blobs was I have taken a scoop full of white pigment paste into the resin and being the white pigment paste a heavy one it drops itself and then it makes the blobs and thick lines so make sure to take the little of the paste you can so here I actually was going for the wispy effect so I have taken very less and now what I'm doing here is I have taken a transparent pigment paste and these are pink and yellow I mix these two colors so first I'm adding here the pink color and then I will add yellow to the pink and just making a shade that a bit different so here I'm making swirls all swirl all around into the coaster with the transparent pigment Uh, and this is the second shade and it's just the pink and I already mixed the yellow inside and doing the same here so on to the white Before that I will be adding these beads into the center and following with the copper foil. And now I'm making the petals. So I kept the white very less here because I want that uh, less of the white look into the flower. Just like a ghost petals. So now we let it cure. This is the second day and I was a bit impatient and I demolded it first. Because of this you can see there are some wrinkles on the back. So this was the look. And I really liked it. I like the folding of the leaves. So sorry about my mold because it's really old. I actually didn't bought a new one as I tore up coat anyways. So this was how it looked but I decided to add the black so I already mixed some black epoxy pigment into the resin
my coaster was placed in a, uh, was on a place that was not balanced so it had a curve inside so i was pressing it down that's what i was doing if you were wondering what i'm doing there so on the back it's the black pigment and on the front i will be top coating it with the low viscosity resin again and this was the final look and i actually leave this flower alone doing without any edges because i really love them simple with this it's all done and here is the final look i really love how the black gave it the watercolor effect and really enhance the petals so if you like this flower tutorial please do leave a comment and let me know and also please like subscribe and share and thumbs up for more future videos and thank you so much for watching take care bye bye